Welcome back my little trolls to yet another shitty troll tutorial. Do you love dying often, losing every game, and being a complete total loser? Then you've come to the wrong place M7 plus 1. This guide is only for winners who love going fast and making pentakills. Radical. Get the golden Nikes to go extra fast because you are Amos. Always go fast. Next get a Zonius, then a Rabidans and then 3 more Zonius. Here's a fun riddle. What do a little knife kitty, a raging homosexual, and the sunshine all have in common? Fine. I'll tell you. They all die fast. Ha 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 ha. Stop climate change by luring the spreader of greenhouse gases to your tower, by using your teleport cheat code, then proceed to beat him up with your insane combo. When swarmed by the enemies, you should activate your ultimate attack and then go into your god mode golden boy form. Blow them up by surprise to teach them who's the boss. Disrespect dance around your offspring until you are pleased. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Use your secret home guard plus teleport strike maneuver for a turbo fast sonic deluxe dang gang to kill faster ye, cause you gotta go fast. I guess you came in like a wrecking ball. Transform to supersonic to gank at the speed of light, because you have to proceed at a high velocity. Just look at that dank gank. After you defeat the Lady of Light, take some time for yourself to rest for a while. But watch out, a tryhard has spotted you being AFK. Use your ninja skills to quickly take him out when you return to your computer. Oh no. The little enemy tuna has used cheat codes to defeat you in a trade-off. Just activate your recall into teleport strike. Before this little can of tuna will realize what is happening, he will already have died of death. If you follow the lessons in my previous guide, you should know that helping out your jungler to the max is crucial to winning. Just look at this toxic mad lord. I should bring my biohazard suit to protect myself against this toxicity. Who he ha who he ha who he ha. Just blame your bad laggy connection. I mean that was obvious lag, right? It's time to grow up and to stop pretending you're a magic wizard. We all know Ramus is actually the fastest dankest tank out there who makes easy pentakills. Rush Turbo Nikes and Thorn Mail, these are crucial. Ice Spawn Gauntlet, Zhonia Sourglass, Sunfire Cape and Guardian's Angel are all nice items too. Here we can see two enemy fast lords who are trying to ambush you. Oh how silly. First you need to take out faster you, because it's important to eliminate all your fast competition. Then proceed to display your dominance over the enemy Ramus. That's right, you are the Alpha Amos. Oh dear, it seems as if the fastest man on earth is trying to ambush you with his speed hacks. Turn on your spike shield to reflect damage, then proceed to run away as this bronzy decides to heal. Wow, what a noob. Use the brushy brushy to your advantage to make a surprise kill, good job. Once every 1000 years, you play against a full marksman team while being Ramus. This is going to be your luckiest day ever. If you have a thorn mail and a max level spike shield they will harm themselves more than they damage you. Stop hitting yourself noobs. Wait, hold on and observe. It's time for some serious LCS level MLG plays. Using only your spike shield, your taunt, and one auto attack. You should get a double kill. Stop hitting yourself noobs. Because you are fast. Everything belongs to you. 
This icy lady stole your blue buff, so claim it back by killing her with your sunfire cape. When noob lords refuse to attack you, just use your taunt to force them to kill themselves. Is an enemy out of range and you can't go fast enough to hit them? No sweat, just activate your spike shield before you get hit to give them a quick death. Because Ramus is the alpha, the omega, the beginning, and the end, he can fulfill any role. Observe the AD carry Ramus 1v1 in Baron in its natural habitat like a complete total boss. Watch out for this dangerous ex peke, Kappa. Some LCS plays right there. Rev up that supersonic speed and break the international speed limit. That's a whopping 7300 fastness, nearly almost as much as what the fast can give you. When you finally get tired of making pentakills and fasting at supersonic speeds, you can easily end any game by using your ultimate on towers. That's right, Ramus's ultimate has some crazy base damage, and a sick AP ratio that deals full damage to all structures. Better nerf Irelia. Use this ancient secret technique to melt down all the enemy's structures. As long as you are going fast enough there is literally nothing they can do to stop you. Once you're ready, home port into their encampment and finish off their last few buildings while nerfing Irelia. That's it. Just as easy as 1 2 3. Use your great and mighty ex peke powers to finish off their final castle. Congratulations, you are a total loser now. Thanks for watching mate.